Hi folks, um, it's a lovely May the 4th, we're at Grey's Devon Cider, painted here quite a few times and um, Ben Grey has kindly extended his permission for me to come on his orchard and paint which is great, thanks Ben. Um, I was hoping for more blossom but there's not a lot really started in this part of the orchard. Uh, it's budding, it'll be here in a week or so, but um, it's not as much as I was hoping for and this is the only sunny day forecast for a while. So we've got to make the most of it and um, we'll give it a go. We've found a tree that will work as a central focus I think. So I've got to get going while the light's good and hope it'll improve and not deteriorate. You just never know. So without further ado, let's get on. So I've just made a few tentative marks with uh, a, a simple brown wash just to draw in the main features. Um, I haven't really paid much attention to the drawing uh, as I'm going to draw into it as I work. And um, I've started to block in. I'm working on a canvas board um, that I've made myself. It's just a piece of board with um, linen and then stretched on it and primed with acrylic primer. A white acrylic primer and uh, I'm painting in acrylics on top of it I've sped up the film a little bit um, because there's a lot of footage to get through so I'm um, laying in with a half inch brush and uh, you can see my setup here a tripod with the board on top and there's the time-lapse camera as well and um, now I'm starting to lay in some of the shadow already before it changes too much because I quite like the pattern that was there at that moment in time. I was in a stew this morning, so much to do, couldn't make my mind up to come out painting. In some ways I didn't feel like it, I was just too tired but I'm glad I've come. The light's changing and it was supposed to be sunny all day so really got to make the most of it today. Get an impression of what we want to do, what we want to get in. Try not to get too bogged down with the fact there are a billion branches in front of me. So there's a kind of hedge running across the back here. The trees behind but if I try and get too much of that here it's all going to get confused. So I'm going to keep the background very general. It's all about the tree trunk and the dynamism of the dynamics of the um, shadows when the sky is beautiful blue at the moment. So I'm going to use that to get that in. So that really does set things off the treat. Get it right. this horizon over here so we peel that off well simplicity is definitely the name of the game with something like this try and keep it as simple as possible because it is not simple it's really complicated imagery generalise so there's a dark area make it just a soft hole so you don't get it too dark brush marks because that's what makes these sorts of things work. So I'm emphasising a few of these foreground marks to lead the eye in and um, then working on the shadow a bit and making it go behind the tree to create an illusion of depth. Some light between these stems, trunks, and things coming forward. And you draw them in again. Looking through. Let's go here. Just 
I've introduced a slightly cooler green in the back, a bit more of a blue green to help with the recession of, of the land. But here at the, in the foreground, it's quite light, really verging on the yellow. And now, just using the sky color, um, trying to pick out the edges of the branches, the light coming through the branches from behind. Sometimes those little pinpricks of light can really bring the painting to life, and um, especially when you work over them with foliage and branches, and it really helps the um, space to work and for certain areas to become a bit more interesting than if they were just one flat tone, for example, or one flat area of colour. Just areas like that can be a bit dead, so it's good to get some life into them. Even though there wasn't a lot of blossom on the tree, there was some there. And you get these little reddish pinpricks um, and pinkish colours coming through and they make for quite interesting spots of light, areas of colour. Um, so I'm just putting some in, some of it's a bit random, some of it's invented, just to try and make, balance up the composition and suggest the early blossom. Um, then adding dandelion here and there and a daisy. Um, maybe just knocking them back a bit so they're not too bright. Little things that help suggest spring. Looks like I've lost the light now. One of the trees okay, is right on the camera, so it's just getting really difficult to see um, what I'm doing. But luckily, the sun being the sun, it moved across again, and I was able to carry on a bit more, even though there's still some shadow on the work. Nearly 
there we overdo it now just for the sake of a few marks I think we'll just good three hours painting which is not bad uh, considering we came here quite late in the day um, early afternoon we arrived and um, it's been okay quite like painting here at least you don't get bothered by anything I've seen a huge hare run run past earlier um, lots of pheasants woodpeckers all sorts of things um, which is very nice. Not that much bird life close by, surprisingly. I guess there just aren't many insects in the uh, in the orchard at the moment. It's a cooler day, and I can certainly feel that it's cooler. The weather keeps changing, the light keeps changing. It's very windy, and um, I just wanted to try and get some uh, orchard studies done. I've done one, I've taken some photographs and um, maybe I'll get back here. But as for the painting, I'll probably have to rework it a bit in the studio because it's quite unresolved. Um, and with the bright sunshine on the canvas, it's quite hard to get the tones right. It'll probably look really dull in the studio. We'll see. Okay, see you next time. So back at base in the studio and um, I've redrawn various aspects of the painting, tightened up the tree trunks a little bit, um, put some more blossom in, worked on the foreground somewhat, um, generally tightened things up, hopefully improved it. And um, here is another painting um, I did up in the orchard and yet another one. Um, both of those have been exhibited. And then there's the subject of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.